the E naught value for the copper half equation is plus 0 0.34. The sign is very significant and I'll be explaining the significance of the sign in a bit but it is plus 0 0.34. The E0 value for the zinc cell, which is Zn2 plus, plus 2E negative gives Zn, is E0 is equal to z minus 0 0.76 volts. So volts here and minus 0 0.76 volts. So just a second, let me just bring the minus closer to the 0 0.76 so that you understand. So now let's see what's happening. The Cu2 plus, so this has an electrode potential of plus 0 0.34. Now the positive sign indicates that Cu2 plus accepts electrons and forms Cu more readily than the reverse reaction takes place. So basically the positive value for E0 shows that the forward reaction, which is reduction, takes place more readily than the back reaction which is oxidation. So and in this case Zn2 plus you see that the E0 is negative. Now this means that the back reaction takes place more readily than the forward reaction. So complete opposite. Now this means that zinc is oxidized more readily than Zn2 plus is reduced. On the other hand uh, Cu2 plus is reduced more readily than copper is oxidized. So so what happens is that uh, when we calculate this value, the value that we get on the voltage, what we do is, if the uh, whatever value is lower, not negative, but whatever value is the lower value, the lower value in this case is minus 0 0.76 of course, because it is negative and 0 0.34 is here is positive. So whatever is the lower value, we have to switch the equation. So now we know, now that we have switched the equation, the electrode potential for the forward reaction has become plus 0 0.76. So now that it has become plus 0 0.76 because we have reversed, so for the forward reaction it will be plus 0 0.76 because uh, if we see that the forward reaction of this example was minus 0 0.76. So the back reaction has to be the opposite, plus 0 0.76. So you can see here that the forward reaction, that, that uh, the forward reaction of this of this equation is the back reaction of this equation. So it will have a value of plus 0 0.76. And after we have reversed, we add the two values. So we will add 0 0.76 and plus 0 0.76 plus 0 0.34 because both were positive after the reversal. And this gives us, um, when I do this on my calculator, I get 1.1. I get 1.1 volts, 1.10 volt. So what I will see on the voltmeter over here is the value 1.10 volt. Now this is how standard electrode potentials work. Now you can see the minus sign. You must be wondering what this minus sign and what this this plus sign shows. Uh, plus sign shows. So um, you know that zinc is likely to lose electrons more readily. So as it is losing electrons more readily. Uh, this becomes the negative electrode. Zinc becomes the negative electrode. And because copper is, is accepting the electrons more readily, it is not, uh, there, are no there is no electron forming here because it is accepting electrons more, more readily. So it's called the positive electrode. And the direction of electron flow is always from the negative electrode to the positive electrode, like this. So this is how electrons flow. And this is how standard electrode potentials work. Now, now that I have all these values, uh, I mean, I have this equation and I have this equation. I can uh, calculate. I can make an overall equation for this. So the 2e and 2e will cancel out, and this will become Cu2 plus plus Zn gives Zn2 plus plus Cu. Now this is the overall reaction taking place and you know this as a displacement reaction. So this is how the displacement reactions work. So actually the displacement reactions that you've been studying since middle school and in your IGCSEs 
they are basically uh, formed upon uh, formed by taking into consideration standard electrode potential values so the standard conditions are very important and these two 